foundations. Foundation three, hide the word in your heart to live by it. Day five, you have a trainer. If you were training in winter for a marathon and owned a treadmill, would you leave it untouched collecting dust? Would you stop seeing your personal trainer? Would you keep your running shoes tucked away in the closet and wear sandals to train instead? Of course not. We all, we use all the tools we're given to reach the goal we're training for. But so many believers miss the opportunity to use the resources we've been given when we leave our Bibles on the shelf. If you look around your house, you'll probably find more than one copy of God's Word lying about on bookshelves, nightstands, and coffee tables. Many Christian homes have multiple versions, Bibles in leather or hardcover, study Bibles, and even Bibles with space for journaling and artwork. We have so many options for reading and studying the Word of God, yet so many of us end up looking elsewhere for help. Listen to what the Apostle Paul wrote in a letter to the young man Timothy, whom he discipled in ministry. As for you, Continue in what you have learned and have firmly believed, knowing from whom you have learned it and how from childhood you have been acquainted with the sacred writings, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 14 through 16. Able to make you wise and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. All of these attributes of scripture play a part in training us to run the race of faith well. The Bible tells us why God's word is meant to be used, understood, and treated like a source of and resource, not a decoration on the shelf. In other words, this was Paul saying to Timothy, don't stop studying and reminding yourself of what you've learned about who God is and what he's done for you through Jesus. Everything he wants us to know about him and his love for us has been recorded for us by those whom the Lord used specifically to do the job. Keep on keeping on with those truths at the center of your life. They will make you wise because of Jesus and not because of yourself. They will be your source for anything good you have to teach others. And when you have to say hard things to help someone, including yourself, turn away from sin. The word of God will keep you in line with what is most useful in helping people change and grow up in godliness. The same is true for me and for you. So lace up your sneakers and walk in all that you've been given through the word of God. To dwell on. God's word will train you up in right ways of thinking and responding. To discuss. What is your hobby and what do you do to train for that sport? Interest. Hobby. Who told you about Jesus and shared the word of God with you? To memorize. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 16.